Ready? Off whites, eBay dunks, Travis Scott's, lobsters. Q4, the best month of the year. This is when brands drop all of their biggest releases in the attempt to make as much money as possible. And lucky for us, they leave room on top for us to make some money as well. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's take a look at some of the hottest releases left for December. Starting off with a quick recap of this past week. On December 8th, we saw the release of the Certified Loverboy Air Force One. This all-white Air Force One silhouette features Love You Forever on the midsole, replacing where the air usually is, as well as hearts, replacing the stars on the soles. Prices are selling for over retail, but not by much. This is a quick flip. Sell them as soon as you get them. Sell them to any Drake fans that you know. Man, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm sure they'll love to scoop them up. Then on December 10th, we saw the release of the Bad Bunny form buckles. This is a solid flip. They're selling for around $200 to $260. And if we look at prices of the past Bad Bunny releases, they've all done pretty well. In my opinion, this is the most wearable colorway out of them all. So expect prices to hold up. Also on December 10th, we saw the release of the Jordan 11 Cherry. If you're interested in a full breakdown analysis of this shoe, click this video right here. Moving on to December 15th, one of the best days for sneakers of the month, we see the release of the Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott. This shoe is an incredible flip. At the time we're filming this, they're selling for around 1.2 thousand to 1.4. And even though stock numbers is around 100 thousand, which is a lot more than each of the previous Jordan 1 Lows, expect prices to still hold up. These will be an amazing flip. Go all out, grab as many pairs as you can, if you can get any at all. Also on December 15th, we see the eBay Dunk Low SB, which again is gonna resell for crazy numbers. In 2003, Nike produced three pairs of the eBay Dunk Low. The first pair got raffled off for charity and sold for $30,000. The second pair was said to be cut up by Nike in an attempt to make the first pair a true one of one. But little did people know, the third pair was actually given to Sandy, one of the founders of the Nike SB line, when he left the company. And now, Sandy's charity foundation will be auctioning off 10 special box pairs of the eBay Dunk Lows in commemoration of him and his life. These special box pairs are gonna sell for crazy numbers. You can even skate the f***ing box. And if you're interested in the non-special box, expect these to drop on Nike sneakers. They're currently selling for around four to $500. Expect prices to be right around that range on release day. While the shoe really isn't that wearable, it will be a must cop for many collectors. So expect resale prices to reflect that. On December 17th, we'll see the re-release of the Jordan 7 Cardinal. The last time we saw this pair retroed was in 2011. It's been over 11 years since we've seen these come out. But despite the history behind this colorway, these won't resell for anything over retail price. If you're looking to grab this pair for yourself, I'd expect resale prices to even drop below retail. To continue this great week for sneakers, we see the release of the Lobster Dunks on December 20th. We've already seen the concepts release with the special box, which comes with a bear brick as well as a mini bear brick. This is a cool release, but to be honest, the extra box is unnecessary. If you're just looking to get the shoe, the sneakers release will be your best chance, and it'll also be a lot cheaper than the concepts box. This will be an incredible flip. Prices are currently at around $450 to $600. In the past, every lobster dunk has gone up in value over time. However, I don't think it's worth investing in these just because of how high the initial buy-in is, making it tough to hit high ROI. On the 22nd, we'll see the Jordan 1 Twist 2.0 come out in women's sizes. The last Jordan 1 Twist we saw was one of the best investments in the last decade, with prices starting out at around $150 and skyrocketing up to the $1,000 range. And while I don't expect prices to hit similar numbers to the first pair, these should be a solid quick flip at least day of release. On the 28th, we'll see the release of the Jordan 1 High Gorge Green. This is the third Jordan 1 we've seen come out with this color blocking. The first pair was the Jordan 1 Midnight Navy, which sold out, resold for solid numbers, and then went up in price as well. However, this was during peak Jordan 1 High demand. Now that the demand has fallen, Jordan 1s don't sell out the way they used to. A good example of this is the Bordeaux 1, which was the second pair in this color blocking. This pair is still selling for under retail today. And so I expect the Gorge Greens to perform similar to the Bordeaux. If you're looking to grab this pair, I'd expect prices to fall under retail. And lastly, to close out the month and to close out the year, we have the Jordan 2 Chicago. Nike is clearly attempting to push the Jordan 2 into the picture, as evidenced by the many Jordan 2 releases coming out in 2023. But regardless of whether you think Jordan 2s will actually catch on or not, expect these Jordan 2 Chicago's to sell out and sell for significantly over retail. And then lastly, let's talk about Nike acquiring RTFKT. Earlier in December, they put out an online raffle for these NFT versions of a sneaker, and you can redeem those NFTs for physical versions of the sneaker. Almost sounds like what StockX did, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Overall, it's been a great year for sneakers. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, what you think is the best release of December as well as the best release of 2022. We've got a lot of great releases coming up for 2023, so expect more videos like this one. Anyways, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one.